poor Gina still has to eat in the snow. Oh, such a sad. I'm gonna have to fix that, Gina. Don't sit in the snow, that's cold. Let's get to it. So I have Timmy over here. He is uh, finishing up, uh, basically uh, chiseling in that manure that we spread out here. Uh, so I know this is our uh, this is our soybean field, but I wanted to put a load of manure. So I basically did some soil samples, and this was my uh, let's just say this soil was hurting. So I decided to uh, treat it a little bit, uh, cultivating it just to break it up, and what's best is we're cultivating in the snow here what a beautiful day just beautiful playing in the snow oh i don't know about beautiful once you look there though not so much all right so i need to get some uh, of my my alfalfa chopped up so i need to go get my truck I picked up a uh, grinder, gonna go pick, run that for a little while, go in here, shut that door, alright, so I'm gonna take my international, this truck is just one heck of a workhorse, just love this truck, it just, it's so convenient, you wouldn't think a flatbed would be that convenient once, until you own one and you're always using it. Timmy, I mean, I'm sure he hasn't worked that long in a long time, so I'm really impressed. He hasn't stopped and did any social media uh, posts in a little while, let's say. But I'm going to have to keep a close eye on him so he doesn't do anything crazy. I did sit down for his, like, feedback, and I told him, uh, hey, uh, I pay you to work not to do whatever else you're doing so uh, please do more working so he seemed to agree so that's good so I think we're on the same track we're tracking eye to eye now so looks like my uh, talk with him paid off but uh, you can never tell nowadays so we're headed back here so I got my grinder mixer hooked up so uh, I just need a little bit more feed to make me through the winter. So of course I have all that big uh, alfalfa bales still to grind up. Ton of bales over there. I have no idea. I don't. I'm sure I'm just gonna put a small dent in them. But you can get a lot more out of the feed. The cattle don't waste as much when you grind it up, make it easier for them to feed. Otherwise they just take big clumps out end up stomping it into the manure and then they won't even eat it and it's wasted and you have to uh, haul more manure that way so a grinder mixer just gets you more out of your feed also they are able to get more nutrition out of their feed because it's already partly broke down so we'll get this back to over by our uh, alfalfa I'm still not positive where I'm going to put the actual ground up feed yet so I'm gonna have to think about that a little bit might put it in one of my buildings means I don't use them anyways might be uh, use them as a little uh, I guess uh, ground feed uh, silo I guess that ain't a bad idea so uh, I'm just gonna take this back and then obviously this truck isn't going to uh, be able to run this that's right Timmy you keep working over there oh don't want to hit that ugly truck all right go over here and uh, we'll just park this I think I'll go park this truck here and then I'll go put this huh so now the question is, what do we want to put on this thing? Hmm. Which tractor do we want to put on our hay buster? I'm thinking here, so obviously Timmy has the Steiger, so that's out of question. 
think I'm gonna put the 8230. You know, the, these haze busters take a fair amount of horsepower, so. Yeah, 8230 it is. It is a little chilly, so let's see if this thing will start. Well, the batteries at least charge. Oh, yeah. Alright, we better let this thing run a little while. Be nice to our green paint here. I'm also going to start up our uh, 8400, so we'll use this, obviously, because it's our big loader tractor. Have to have something to lift them big bales into the grinder. Alright, so we got that thing running. Gotta wait a little while, so you want that hydraulic fluid. Uh, gotta turn off the lights here. Alright, turn off them lights here quickly. You want this hydraulic fluid to warm up a little bit. Don't want it. It's hard on the tractors when the oil and everything's a little cold. I know I need to start pushing a little snow around here too, but it's snow, pushing snow doesn't make me money. Uh, basically, feeding my beef cattle does make me money, so it's always most important. You got to do the stuff that makes you money first, and then the stuff, fun stuff like pushing snow around later. But, I mean, look, it's snowing on us right now, so... Does it really pay to push snow around when there's going to be more in a few hours? Alright, so we got this thing. I'm going to go get this thing hooked up on our grinder mixer. I'm sure you guys all heard the bad news. FS21 is no longer going to come out. So, basically no longer going to come out and... 2021 uh, I have to say of course I was a little bit disappointed I don't want to act like I foresaw this or predicted this in any way but I kind of had a feeling that this was going to happen just because everything that happened in FS19 I mean just think about it uh, John Deere came to FS19 that was huge. Of, of course, we always had John Deere prior for PC, but it was huge to have them in game, especially for the console players out there. Huge, you know. That's hard. How are you going to up that? There is no other country or company, in my opinion, that would be better. But that's just my opinion there. Uh, then also, you know, the painting. A script they put in to and uh, owning your own farmland and everything how you can make your own farm of course that's another huge huge improvement over 17 uh, just the graphics alone huge improvement so there is so much awesome stuff they did for uh, FS 19 here that I'm just super impressed with and I was kind of expecting there is hard to beat what they have done in FS19 for another I mean to be honest how I mean usually they don't get a new uh, what do they call it uh, a new game engine I believe until every other year so to be honest it's smart for the I knew once I heard the new consoles were coming out, I almost was going to predict it just for the fact that uh, it's it's it would be kind of complacent for them because they not that it's bad, but the consoles basically kind of hold back the PC's game, uh, not the mod really, but what the game could do what how big a map how big a start out like the start out vanilla game uh not that that's a bad thing it's just because they want it for pc and console and because of that it is uh they have to hold back so if they do it for the next gaming engine which you know is supposed to be really good what I've heard so it's going to be definitely a step up a serious step up uh, 
it's in the right direction in my opinion so we are gonna get way more of a game which means that the game engine everything could be so much more impressive and I think we are really going to be impressed with the next one so if they call it FS 22 or whatever I'm as long as it's worth the wait I'm not really disappointed I kind of to be honest you know it it makes sense when you think about it and it's it's just what it is and just also think I mean the worst thing about going to another game is you lose all your favorite mods at least for a little while and at least now we get to play with our favorite mods for a little while and for FS19 uh, with all the new textures and everything it's it seems like it takes the modders which I understand completely just more time to make bring out quality mods but the quality mods are you know top-notch so in my opinion you know this will kind of even out so there's so much more the modders can do so much more planning and everything so and I think the next game's going to be huge all right enough blabbing and let's get to uh, grinding gotta back this up I'm not for sure how I want this set up here nope don't want that uh-oh. Uh-oh, my wife isn't around. Timmy's working in the field. Oh, man, I gotta walk back in the snow. What is it with snow falling that just makes you so much more cold? I don't know. Maybe I should run. Oh, man, I need better boots. My feet are like blocks of ice. I know what will help. Hey, why did this shut off? I was looking forward to the nice heat. Uh, not supposed to shut off, tractor. Oh, man. I hate it when you're uh, unthawing your feet. It's like the worst feeling. So if you also saw, I heard a John Deere dealership is coming to this area, which is nice. I'm tired of that case dealership down there, you know, have the monopoly basically on this area. Uh, I know they're still in the build-up process, but man, I need I need that uh, dealership running so I can, uh, one, I could take all my tractors in to get service, and two, uh, I could get some good deals. So, I got a lot of John Deere's, so course you know it's pretty hard to upgrade a 84R 8400R not gonna probably do that easily but uh, maybe we can upgrade some of our old John Deere's them bales up don't think I could fit both of these bales in the mixer at the same time don't think but there is a chance, there is a way. Let's turn this old grinder on here. All right, turn that beast on. Hope it's able to grind this alfalfa. Look at that black smoke it's pushing out. Woo, it's putting that thing to work. Work. Okay. Uh, this might be a challenge. I might have got a little bit too close to this building, but... There we go. Not too shabby. It's working. I was a little bit worried. Don't, don't fall off, Bale. Uh, 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 oh. Stay on there. Stay on there. You could do it. So it's actually making a pretty good file pretty quick, so uh, I'm impressed. There's going to be a lot of alfalfa going down over there. We're going to have a good batch. Ooh. We need to put a little extension. We need something like uh, Cole the Corn Star has so we can get this whole building. Put a little conveyor system here so we can get this whole building filled up. 
Hey, uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. This bale's supposed to be on there. Why are you here? Hopefully I could squeeze a loader tractor in on that, but, uh, we'll wait until this one bale is completely ground down. Look at the quality here. Yep. That's some leafy alfalfa. Probably, uh, should have put a bale on and backed up, but oh well. This will do. This will do. Yeah, I didn't really plan that that well. I guess I could kind of move it to side to side, and that should be enough for at least a few days. That's for sure. All right, so now I need to uh, do the fun part, squeeze in there and try to get that bale, I guess. So there's one talent I don't have, and this is it. All right. Got it all right. I, I'm just like... I'm pretty sure this is my favorite tractor, just because... This thing is, like, so easy to use. It's like, I'm always using this tractor. I can't remember, like, a day or a bit, something that I did on the farm here that I didn't use this tractor. Of course, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but... It seems like I always can find a use to this tractor. I mean, it's brand new, so, I mean, duh. Of course I want to use it. Pushing out that black smoke now. Look at all that dust coming up. Man, it's pushing it out good. I think we're going to fill that barn right up. A big old mound here. I wasn't expecting this much here. This will do. Now that we're waiting on that, I need some Binox here. I'm going to have to spy on a Timmy. All right, looks like Timmy is doing the last round. What do you think? Will Timmy go to the next field like I told him to? Or will Timmy just stop and do it on social media again? That is the question. We are about to find out. Oh, what is he going to do? Will he move on? Or will he just park in the middle of the street? Well, there's your answer. Man, you can't find good help anywhere. Alright, well, you saw it. So now I'm going to have to run all the way over there and give Timmy a piece of my mind. Ugh. Alright. So I, I just got done with my uh, counseling session with Timmy. Making sure he doesn't do anything keep working there buddy you could have just went to the end oh well don't hit that electrical box man oh man make me run all the way back in the snow again can't find good help anywhere I am kind of happy that I'm finally finding a use for my buildings that I have just had over here so I'm really impressed by how much uh, actual work ground up feed we are getting from all this uh, basically grinding. I mean uh, if I don't want to know it's going to pile up this quick this fast I would uh, put it in the back a little bit farther but we'll see how much we could get in there I guess. Over here grab another two bales I'm really um, I mean this thing I like how I set up these bales just so the fact that it's really easy to just grab two more bales with this loader. Grab them both. I mean, what do you think the chances are of this grinder being able to uh, hold these two bales for a long time? I don't really know the chances that well, but I mean, why not? Let's try it. I mean, what else are we going to do over here? Watch Timmy stop again? I mean, can't be uh, too boring. We can, like, uh, do a little bet here. 
Will they stay or will they pop out again? That is the question. There we go. And we go turn the grinder on again and uh, see how long they stay in. I think I really did a bad, like, if you were betting that they stayed in, I really didn't give you a good placement there. Like, if I was a field goal setter, I just failed the whole team right there. All right, all right, oh, stay, stay, stay. Oh, no. Must not be much of a dog because uh, it just fell out. But we're grinding up. Man, I can't believe how much uh, B we're getting. Gonna blow through the doors here pretty soon. Keep it up. There we go. We set our little grinder up higher. Get more of a pile there. Yeah, the thing really goes high now. That'll work for us. Just have to make sure I can still close the door. Uh-oh. That might be difficult there. Might have to do a little uh, movement. Maybe I'll back it up just a hair. Yeah, try to back that up so I don't barge out the doors there. Put more bales in, that's the goal. Yeah, I don't... Hopefully I don't back log that uh, belt too bad right there, but I think that might work go in here and yeah that, that'll fill up that back a little bit better there all right I reset it hopefully uh oh uh oh we're gonna blow out the doors there gonna have to back it up didn't back it up far enough pulling a Timmy here a mess up turn this grinder on a little bit after we move it Move it over. Man. Guess I could fill in the other side maybe, but man, I wasn't expecting this. Got a lot of feed right here. That yeah, it's gonna work nicely in this area here. It's good. I always like doing this so then I don't have to uh I could be ahead for tomorrow, that's my goal anyways, is always do enough just to be ahead enough so I don't have to rush tomorrow. I'm definitely making a mess out of the front of this building. I'm going to have to ask Jake and Austin, everyone around, if they need any bales, because I definitely have abundance of bales and I don't want them going short this winter not having bales for the cattle that reminds me I didn't feed my cattle this morning uh oh I'm gonna have to fix that can't believe you guys ever try to uh, climb up on a uh, chopped up uh, hill like this yeah it's basically impossible you're gonna sink down so far you're gonna be so itchy. Well, looks like we got that bale ground up. Uh, what do you say? Get another one. Why not? Can't believe we only ground like four bales and we already blocked that door. So we know if we ever have to barricade a door, all we have to need is four bales. You know, the cool thing would be is you know, grind up all this feed, uh, get a, like a, a muscle car or something like that, and just see if you can blow through it. You would have ground up feed everywhere, but I bet you would just blow through it like no tomorrow. Would be kind of interesting to see that in like slow mo. Just blowing through it, maybe like a. Uh, not really a light vehicle or truck, but something more heavy and duty like that uh, Dodge there.
Maybe we'll do it, but I really don't want to have to take that to the repair shop. So I'm not think I'm gonna lay off. All right, so let's see if I can redeem myself with the placement this time. Maybe? Maybe? Uh, I don't think either one is gonna go in there next time. You keep working there, Timmy. Is it gonna work? It's not gonna work. It's just gonna grind like that. I'm gonna have to pull one of them off. Alright, we're gonna have to do this while it's running, just as a challenge, mostly. Can we do it? This is going to be some artwork. Oop. What did I do? Did I hit it? I think I just bumped it. I didn't even mean to bump it. Was it intimidated enough where it just fell in? Oh well. Look at all that feed in there. I, I wish I could get it as high as the rafters, but uh, for whatever reason, a lot of maps don't let you uh, stack a feed it's only so high like this. See how it's flat right here? Yep. So it would be cool if I could get it way up there in the rafters. But don't. It's not going to happen unless I change a script. Maybe that's an in-game thing. I'm not for sure. Not much of a modder, so couldn't tell you. I think we're basically only going to be able to shoot it this way. I think we got a little bit more room than we have that way. Oh man, we already got it. Wow. Wow. If you guys don't know, my legs and pants are so itchy right now. All right, let's turn this grinder on again now that we have this thing moved. Grind up some more. Like I said, we're gonna block this whole doorway here. Spill a little bit. It is kind of unique how the snow just kind of falls so far away from this building, but oh well. Not gonna have to grind all of our feed anyway, so. This will be convenient. We definitely got way too much uh, feed this year. Got plenty of feed, I should say. That feed is going to be blowing out these doors. So you're going to drive by this uh, building and the doors are going to be popping here on the end. Popping out. Like uh, Fat Man's bottom button. Popping out at the belly. That grinder sure makes this old John Deere roll coal. I sure like the looks of this old uh, 8230. So I hear JHHG is working on a new J, I think a 30 series too. So pretty excited to see that come out. We'll see though. Uh, what do you guys think? I think I can put another bale in there. I mean, why not? We already got the doors blowing out, so why not a little bit more? So I brought the truck back, and I was thinking on the way when I was driving here. You guys think I should tell Timmy that there's a sinkhole in that field? Ah, you guys are right. Let's just forget about it. He will figure it out. So I'm going to load up my uh, old uh, trusty uh, International really didn't leave this international in a very good spot, did I? Could have made it way easier on me. On myself, that is. Uh-oh. Uh, don't roll back. Hey, you stay. Stay. Alright, so we're definitely going to have to put a few bales. And like I said, I'm just basically preparing. Because this isn't far from our feedlot, but it is far enough where, you know, if we get two foot of snow, I'm going to be in a deep, you know what, you know. Not only will the cows be making more poo, I will be in deep poo too. Uh, you definitely want to make it easy on yourself. You don't want to have to do too much in the freezing cold. So I'm going to load up my international so I have some more hay there. Just in case it lasts a week or so, I'll, I'll be ready. 
and uh, I'll have some ground up feed. I'll probably leave the 84 here just so I can uh, load up my uh, feed wagon. Oh, not too shabby. Got all them bales on. I got a little bit to the side there, so I think I'm just going to put a few on top to tie here. So I think if I go sideways here, grab a two bales, this might work. This isn't as easy as grabbing them straight on, but this might work. As I say, I'm no professional here, so uh, let's just say I kind of timmy this. All right, got that. Watch out for these posts that come out of nowhere. There we go. We're free and clear. We're in a tree. Get out of the tree. All right. So think. So what is this? This is eight bales. Not the most impressive. Obviously, I could have carried more if I brought my uh, big gooseneck, but uh, it's just more fun driving my International. All right. I wanted to strap them down just to make sure because we don't have no, like, back lip to help out. Is that the middle? Yeah, close enough, I think. Close enough for Timmy work here. For government work. Same thing, basically. I should know. There we go. Got that put together. Oh, not too shabby. Yeah, I got a little bit of lean to this old truck, but it's just going to have to do. Going to have to do, Bobby. All right, so our tractor's still smoking here, so I don't think we can fit any more into this area. Uh, I think we're basically, we are maxed out. We got plenty of food, feed there. I didn't get these last two bales, so I'll have to put them back under cover. Uh, we do have uh, our truck filled up here. I better put the straps down on this thing. There we go. That will make sure they don't fall off. Uh, I'm going to go put these two bales back. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to sh turn off my tractor here. There we go. I uh, think I'll just probably park this grinder in our little shed here, or maybe in the other side of this shed. I don't need any more feed. Like I said, we are prepared for the big blizzard coming, and we got a big one. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.